Today I'll show you my free database with 3,010 templates that you can use to sell automations for 1 to 10k per project, automate your own business operations or build an AI SaaS. And a is exploding right now. It's 10x more popular than Make or Zapier. So now is the perfect time to build with it. I actually built a similar database before and people use it over 20,000 times which proves these templates are super useful. So spend 10 minutes watching this video and it will be the best move you make today. And using the system is actually super simple, even if you're a complete beginner. Just type your query, let's say WhatsApp, hit enter, and in just two seconds, you got your templates. Let's say you like the first one. Just copy this link, go to the NA10 and paste it here in import from URL. Press import, you don't even need to download anything on your computer and BAM, it is instantly in your workspace. Let me show you what's inside and how to access it. And if you like this type of content, subscribe to my channel. To build this database, I found a GitHub repository with these 3000 NATAN templates. They have two main sources. First of all, the official NATAN website, they are sharing some of the templates for free already. And then we we'll have the examples shared publicly on GitHub blogs and other websites. So they actually scraped the third party data. Huge shout out for these guys. This database is super useful. But actually, when it comes to using it in the real world, I faced some problems. First of all, they have so many templates and they have a description for them. So you have to manually find what is the right one for you. And the second part of the problem is that some of the workflows are not actually that useful. They might be super small, not actually checked, without documentation. So it's not super easy to use them. For instance, this one monitor over stop and tweets. Obviously, it's not for the broad audience. It's something very local, very specific, and I don't want that to be in my search results, right? So I wanted to build my own layer of automation on top of this database. And this is exactly what I did. Here is my Anytime workflow. First of all, I built a Google Sheet database on top of that. I saved all of the JSON files to the Google Drive and then I used AI to analyze every single workflow in terms of how useful it is, for how broad audience is it actually valuable, and assigned a score from 1 to 10 in terms of 10 is the most useful, super big, super holistic solution and 1 is something absolutely bad and not worth it, right? And here is the Google Sheet database. As you can see, on the left side we have the name, for instance, automated social media content publisher, then description, URL, and score. In this case, 9 out of 10. Because this automation is obviously useful to a very broad audience of people. And then AI analyzed that the workflow inside is actually useful, right? And then we have so many other workflows in here. And then on top of this Google Sheet database, I built a knowledge base. So as you can see here, we have the super base connected to it and it makes the search super quick and super easy. I wanted to make the system as accessible, as helpful and useful for you as possible and giving it to you away for free. So let me show you the window that we chatted initially. As you can see, it works almost instantly. Let's say Instagram DM and then bam, one, two, three, here we go. We have the results, Instagram autoresponder, exactly what we're looking for. Or let's search something different, LinkedIn, I don't know, posts. And one, two, bam, we have these three automations or CRM automation, let's say that. One, two, three, we have the results. Automated email reply handling and CRM sync. So as you can see, the access is super easy and we don't need to download anything on our computer. We're just copying this thing and pasting to our Anytime workflow. I will give you the free access to the tool as well as the Google Sheet database. But first I wanna show you three examples on how you can use it to sell automations to businesses, to automate your own business or to build an AI SaaS. Because with this system, it is so much easier. Let's begin with the first example, selling automation to the actual business. So imagine you wanna sell something to the local chain of beauty saloons and you want to automate something in their communication with the client area. We want to send a reminder about the upcoming appointment so we will reduce the no-show rate and then maybe we'll ask if the person is actually satisfied with the appointment and if yes, we will ask to leave the Google review. We also want it to be connected to the Google Calendar. We want the communication to be in WhatsApp and whatnot. So let's go to the chat and let's begin. Let's search for the first building block. Let's say WhatsApp uh, appointment, something like that. Appointment. And here we'll have some templates. So as you can see, the first one is WhatsApp business appointment bot. 
and then workflow automating WhatsApp appointment notifications and user message handling. Sounds reasonable, let's use this one. I'm doing that just right here, so I don't know if it will work out or not. Let's see how actually valuable this template is. As you can see, it looks quite decent. We have the template message, then we have the storing of the messages and replying. Sounds reasonable. And also we have some data pre-filled in these notes. So as you can see, some ID, recipient's phone number, blah, blah, blah. Some pre-filled templates in here and also some instructions that here is how to set up something on the Meta Business Portal. So we are getting so much extra information compared to you just searching here manually the note of WhatsApp. Of course, here we have some additional text, we have the pre-filled notes, so we understand how people are already using that. And then we just need to tweak it a little bit so it actually fulfills our goal for this client. Now let's go and let's find another component. Let's say we want to be synchronized with Google Calendar. We want to analyze the schedule of our managers in the beauty saloon. So everything is kind of managed and organized. So let's search Google Calendar and see what this database has to offer. We have three templates in here. Google Calendar Event Manager, AI powered Google Calendar Assistant. I expect we will have the agent here. So let's copy this one. This might be useful. Let's paste it in here, paste here, boom. Import in just two seconds. We have a separate workflow. As you can see, it is the AI agent, which has multiple different tools. It can manage the calendar. It has AI connected. So this is already a good starting point. And we can build on top of that. We can connect the nodes and probably the whole building process will be twice as faster because we're using this automation and this search database. And now let's consider the second use case, automating your own business. Let's consider an example of my own client. The guy is running the Meta Ads agency. So this is the whole agency work. They're handling multiple clients, they're serving ads for them, creating new concepts, analyzing the performance, etc. And let's say we want to automate the onboarding flow. So our clients are actually being asked of all of the necessary questions. Maybe they have some agenda in place. So the onboarding is smooth, seamless, and people that we're working with are actually informed before the meetings and they're actually prepared to collaborate with us in the most efficient way. Let's go to the chat and let's search for something onboarding related. Let's just type onboarding. Now let's see what the database has to offer. In just a couple of seconds, we have three answers. Semantic web search query results we anchor. This sounds something unrelevant, probably not our use case. Automated HubSpot onboarding and calendar scheduler. This sounds awesome because HubSpot is a very popular CRM, obviously also the calendar scheduling, perfect. Let's go to the NITM, let's paste this one and see if it's actually valuable and worth it. Boom, huge workflow. This is already awesome. We have the huge documentation in here. As you can see, the first flow, we have the webhook, the HubSpot connection. Then we have list of owners. Then we have the current owner. Probably this logic is something very specific to their use case, but we can actually remove it, get rid of it, and leave only what is actually useful in our own use case. Then we have AI that writes a personalized email and then sends the message using the Gmail, right? And also we are using Markdown, so it will be well formatted. Sounds super good. And then we have the calendar tool, AI agent that is connected in here, as you can see, and it accesses all the Google Calendar notes. So this is super useful starting point to build our onboarding flow. We might have our own requirements. Maybe we want to connect our own knowledge base some SOPs, internal uh, documents, but it will be so much easier when we are starting with that. And now let's consider the final use case, building your own AI SaaS. This is super interesting. This is an opportunity to make so much money. There's the guy, Greg Eisenberg, who speaks about different AI startup opportunities, how to make them, how to discover the good ideas. He's very popular. He actually built more than 10 million per year businesses. So actually, these guys know how to build this stuff. And he recently shared a whole list of different startup ideas to start in 2025 for SaaS, AI agents, etc. And I analyzed this list and I found one interesting idea and let's just use it as an example, right? So agent turning company, Slack Notion into personalized onboarding. Teams waste weeks training new hires, 5K per month per company. 
sounds super useful because companies they have big knowledge bases in their slacks or notion and then we want to transform all that into kind of internal documentation and then connect it to the onboarding process it is actually very related to the previous automation that we just talked about so let's try to build the baseline for this SaaS. So let's once again go to the search bar and let's search something with Notion related, right? Notion. Maybe we have some connections already. And I then workflow sync to Notion database. Notion AI knowledge base assistant. Notion AI assistant workflow generator. Let's check out what is inside. Notion database API workflows every 15 minutes. I guess it's not something that we're looking for. Maybe the second one because it's a knowledge base. I just copy it fully, go here, once again, paste it to the canvas and see if it's truly useful and valuable. Boom, here we have it. We have some decent documentation. We have even the video, which is much more valuable. Now we have the instruction how to set it all up. And then we have connection to Notion and some AI agent interaction. Good starting point. Now let's connect the Slack as well. Maybe we have some important communication in Slack going on, right? Slack. Probably many connections will be found here. Slack service now, incident search bot. Sounds like something also narrow and too specific for us. Slack command handle with dynamic workflow calls or Slack error notification workflow. Let's say Slack messages. Maybe it will be a little bit more specific for us and it found the same workflows. Okay, then let's take the first one because the main thing here is that we need the connection with the Slack, the right connection. And once we have it, then we'll find out how to kind of scrape the needed data for us. Oh, damn, this is a huge workflow. See, it's, it's the biggest probably today, right? We have a lot of documentation, the webhook, routing of different messages, uh, search as now incidents, something specific, we can get rid of it. But then we also have just Slack connections. And I guess this is the most important part for us here. So we have the connections for the data and then we want to connect it to the onboarding flow. And for that reason, once again, we will just use the one that we previously found on boarding. And the second one was the good one. This one with HubSpot. Also just copy it, paste it in here. And it has many connections with HubSpot. It is sending the personalized email to the customer. So as you can see, just starting off with these three parts, it is a solid foundation to build our AI SaaS, which is actually based on the idea from Greg Eisenberg. So it kind of has more chances, a bigger potential to actually work out and get us to this 5K per month per company point. And finally, as promised, I'm giving you the free access to this database. It is actually hosted here on this web link, evolvo.ai slash anytime. I will attach it in the description down below. This is the website of my AI agency. Just go towards this link. You will have this chat window. Just paste your own request, for instance, LinkedIn system, and enjoy the templates in just two seconds. Share this link with everyone you know in the AI automation space who are building something for themselves or for someone else. This will be probably super useful for them as well. My previous system, people have used more than 20,000 times they even broke down my NETM because I was on the lower tier. I needed to upgrade to the enterprise with 50k month executions. So this is crazy. And also, I'm of course giving you the access to the Google Sheet database. I will also attach it in the description down below. You can check out all the systems here. You can check out the scores. You can find out, okay, here are many systems with high scores in this niche. Maybe I should focus on that. Maybe I build something in it because it will be so much easier to fulfill clients requests once you have all these templates in place and if you like this video check out another one where i built a similar system based on the anytime templates from big youtubers like nate york nick's arrive and ben ai